Brothers and sisters, this is Father Michael welcoming you to the God Minute on this Tuesday in the octave of Christmas. On this day in the church's calendar, we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Innocents. These were the young male children of Bethlehem who were slaughtered at Herod's command in an attempt to destroy Jesus. For all those innocent children in the womb yet to be born, and all of the children of the world, Let us ask for the Lord's blessing and protection as we begin our prayer, as we do all things, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 61, Help. Hear my cry, O God, and listen to my prayer. I call on you from the ends of my rope, hanging here with a heavy heart. Help. You have been my refuge. You have helped me to be centered in times of confusion. I will dwell in your house forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have granted me a glimpse of your love. May there be peace in our world. May the powerful of the world sit before you and know your love and faithfulness. And I will sing your songs day by day. I will fulfill my vow to you. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Today we reflect on this very popular verse from the prophet Isaiah that appears so often around Christmas time. This passage reveals a lot about the promise of Christ the Messiah and who he is. Today we are called to renew our steadfast faith in Christ, and we are called to join the Apostle Thomas in boldly and humbly professing to Christ our King, my Lord and my God. God speaks through the prophet Isaiah to each one of our hearts to restore and nourish our faith in his beloved Son. He promises, For to us a child is born and a son is given. He is the only Son of God, eternally begotten and loved by the Father, who has become one of us in all things but sin. The government will be on his shoulders. Now, this is not a simple Senate majority that Christ carries with him. No, the authority and ruling power that the Messiah carries on his shoulders is the cross. Christ rules high above the nations, not from a position of maniacal and dictatorial pride, but from a humble cross. Lifted up for all the world to see. Our Messiah's name inspires us to submit ourselves to his power and to his love and mercy. His name is Wonderful because of all his works and deeds. Counselor on account of his teachings and his precepts. He is Mighty God for he is the one true God to whom belongs all authority and all power to save the world from sin and death. 
He is everlasting Father, meaning that all of Christ's descendants will receive the fruits of salvation, just as all of the descendants of Adam, us, our first father, received the fruits of sin and of death. He is Prince of Peace, on account of him reconciling us with God through his suffering, death, resurrection, and ascension, and one another through grace and virtue. Who is the Messiah in your life? Take a moment to ponder. Who is this promised one to you? Is he wonderful counselor, mighty God, prince of peace? In reflecting on this, a thought came to my mind of the moment in Mass when the host is elevated. It is customary for Catholics to quietly recite the words of the Apostle Thomas at this moment. Christ approaches the doubting Thomas, and in a moment of sincere and devout faith, Thomas cries out, My Lord and my God. In those moments when I feel most like Thomas and I doubt in God's will for my life or for my family's lives or for the entire nation and world, today I feel strongly the need to acknowledge once again my faith in Christ the Messiah. Today, let us all renew this faith and pray, My Lord and my God, He is truly wonderful, He is mighty, and He is everlasting. And His time to rule has come. Let the name of Jesus be praised, both now and forever. Amen. Let us pray together the words that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking but by dying, grant, we pray, that the faith in you, which we confess with our lips, may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, protect you from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life, and protect all those yet to be born. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks, everyone, for joining us on this special feast day of the Holy Innocents. Let's continue to pray for all those yet to be born, and all of the newborns who have come into our world, that they may experience the blessings and peace that the goodness of God provides. Have a blessed day. Take good care of yourself and one another, and we'll see you tomorrow.